Hi everyone, Richard Carlton here. In this video, we're going to be covering a very basic conversation about an introduction into digital document management with FileMaker. Now, digital documents are all these things that you see people piling up on their computers, their invoices, screenshots, Word files, a million different things, right? We have invoices, we have this, that, we have the other. It's quite the arsenal of documents that people will pile up on their computer. And I got an email from Bert, and Bert doesn't want to be mentioned by name uh, because he asked a question, and he didn't know his question was going to turn into a video, so sorry about that, Bert. But Bert is converting from ACT, and he wanted to understand how digital document management works. And so what I'm going to do is recommend, of course, that you download or install a free trial of FileMaker Pro and install that on your computer if you don't already own it. This way you could at least have a 30-day trial. Once you've done that, I want you to go to www.fmstartingpoint.com. And this is a free starter solution uh, that we built for the FileMaker platform. And it runs with the latest version of FileMaker, whatever that is. And all you have to do is say download. And you put in your name and your email. And what we're going to do is we're going to mail you a confirmation email with the download to this free starter solution. Now people say, well, what is the free starter solution? Well, it's easier that I show you. So you're going to get this confirmation email right here, which has information about downloading the latest version of FM Starting Point, whatever that version is. And you just press that button and it'll download for you. And once you've done that, you can open up FM Starting Point and this is a completely free FileMaker solution. There's no charge to use it. There's no cost to using it. The only trick is, is that you have to have installed FileMaker Pro, either the trial or after the trial's over, uh, buy it FileMaker. And so this is produced by my company. It's completely unlocked, so you can customize it. And basically, it's a complete CRM that allows us to manage customers, contacts, invoices, projects. It's all in here. It's all completely free. This blows people's minds all the time. This, trust me, it's true. Now, when you're looking at FM Starting Point, understand that because it's unlocked, if we decide that we don't want these other modules in here, like we were talking to Bert and Bert didn't need some of these modules in here, you can learn how with basic FileMaker skills, you can go in and put the database into layout mode and then maybe get rid of items that you don't want. Maybe you don't need an expenses database and you don't need an assets database and you want to move things around. It's that simple to do this kind of thing in FileMaker. There's a whole set of tools up here at the top that give you all sorts of capabilities from drawing objects and items and adding fields. It does a lot. So in short, it's important to understand that you have FileMaker, you have FM Starting Point, and there's Browse Mode, which is the mode that you're using when you're browsing the data. Layout Mode is where you're going to change the structure of the database, and Find Mode, which is if you want to do a search for someone. Now, real quick, digital document management is real simple. So we go to Contacts here, and we say that this is Morgan Venshire. Well, we, we don't want to talk to Morgan. We want a, a new contact. So I'm going to press the button up here at the top. I'm going to get a new contact. We're going to put in Alex, uh, last name Carlton. Uh, he is a Sith Lord, although it has a, a pop-up list. We could select one here. or We could edit the pop-up list, which would be cool. Sith Lord. And so now I can click over here and again, and now I have my Sith Lord option right there. So say that we actually have in all our documents over here a picture of Alex. Well, Alex is just another kind of digital document. I can actually drag and drop him in there and actually have a picture of Alex in our database. So what about all these documents that are all over here? And if I drag an image into here, where is it stored? Where is it saved? Well, it's a really important with FM starting point our solution in the FileMaker platform that people don't lose track of their information. FileMaker is all about organizing and getting your things straightened out and in a logical fashion. If I see a mess like this, I want to instantly sort it out and put it together somehow. And let's say that Alex has an invoice. Well, over here is this uh, documents button. I built this button for everyone. I put it right here. 
And these are the documents that are specific to Alex. So if I go back to Morgan, I hit documents. These are documents over here for Morgan. And if I go to Alex, he has his own digital document. So let's say, for example, that he has an invoice that we want. This is his invoice. We can drag it here. We put it in there. It's in there. If I want to view it in large detail, I click it once and I press the open button right here and it displays the full version. Over here, it's displaying a thumbnail or a representation of what it looks like. So all these items here will be thumbnails. So if we have information here, it's a Word document. We have uh, a movie file. If we want to put that in there, we could put a movie file in there. We could put uh, other documentation, PowerPoints, estimates, quotes. We can do anything that's specific to Alex if we want. We can even attach documents to invoices. So we have, those are documents to contacts. I can attach a document to the invoice. Maybe we have some supporting documents that help us create the invoice. Or we're managing a project and we have the projects that are specific. In fact, this is an image here of one of our offices. I'm going to click on it once and bring it up. And you get the picture here of one of our video production staff who's working feverishly in our Santa Clara office in California. So that's basically digital document management. Where are all the documents saved? Well, they're being saved actually inside this file right here. They were saved in here so they never get lost. So say for example that we take all these documents right here and we throw them away into the trash can and then we empty the trash. I'm going to say empty the trash. They're all gone, gone forever. So what I want to do then is go ahead and open up FM starting point again. Come over here to contacts and take a look at the documents we have for uh, Alex. And I click here, I say open, it displays it. Because even though you threw away the loose documents or you lost the loose documents or one of your staff lost the documents, the document is saved inside of FileMaker. It's preserved, it's organized, you never lose it. It's really cool stuff. In fact, if you're the kind of office or operation where you're putting some things in Dropbox and putting some things in email, uh, then things are getting dropped and lost everywhere. And odds are you're probably trying to go back and find things that you've lost and you waste a lot of time doing that. With FileMaker, you're simply going to look the person up. You're gonna do a search for the person, find the person, and then find the documents for that person and have access to that information. So that's basic digital document management and how FileMaker keeps it and saves it and organizes it and actually all done with an FM starting point. Pretty cool stuff.